Yo guys, what's going on? It is me, KLV. Now, in today's video, I'm going to tell you on how to make platinum and what are the best ways to make platinum in Warframe. Now, a lot of people want to have cosmetics, want to look nice, want to do fashion frame, and just want to buy frames that they haven't got, or want to use 70% off, what is a very nice thing to have, or they want to buy 30 day resource boosters all the time. So, now before the video starts, I just want to say make sure you do like and subscribe to the channel, it would very much appreciate And also, we are doing monthly. Uh, f platinum giveaways so we have one currently right now for 50 platinum we've got one person entered in so if you want to put your game tag down below only for xbox so i just want to make that clear only for xbox and uh yeah let's get it started so now a good way to make platinum is by buying and reselling now i use a load of games and like a load of mmorpg games like these type of games where you can make money from selling items so how you want to do it is you want to buy a frame that's kind of cheap but you also can kind of sell for a lot that you can make profit from so for me i do this with equinox um i have an equinox set right here that i'm selling now what i normally do is i'll buy equinox for lower than 100 i'll try and get 70 if i can't and 80 is the highest that i'll go when i'm buying it and then i'll then sell that set for about 120 if I buy it for 80 then that gives me a 40 platinum profit and then you can keep doing this for a while and then once you have done that then you can get to the big books okay now what I mean by the big books is what you want to do is you want to put in trade chat you want to buy trash ribbons okay now rarely okay rarely someone will give you a weapon that is very very good that is a good weapon that can sell, like this Tiburon Riven, for example. I got this Tiburon Riven for like 20 platinum, but then this can sell for at least at least 300 at least. Now, same with the Vectus. I swapped the Vectus for a, I think it was a Dread Riven. Now, you want to be careful with swapping Rivens around though, because some you want to know what weapons can actually sell compared to others. So now. What you want to do with this is when you buy trash ribbons is you want to know if one does a weapon sell if i roll it two is it decent enough or two actually sell does it give me a decent amount of profit from if i buy it so for example say you buy it for example this vector's ribbon for example what came up on the market if i bought that would i then be able to re-roll it and then sell it for a higher price because that's what you want to do you want to make the most amount of platinum as possible so that is what you want to do now another method, this is mainly for like star players, but item treasures is a really good method on making platinum. Everyone is buying them, I even buy item treasures because I need endo, so I'll buy item treasures even. And these are really easy to get, you can just find them randomly in missions, or you can get them in sorties, they're very very common in sorties, in the royal pool they are common. Uh, also you can do them from Maru's Bazaar. Uh, you can get one from Murray's Bazaar. Obviously, the Anasa ones sell for more, but any item treasure, people will buy them off you. People will always buy item treasures no matter what off you, because they're just really good. Uh, another method is corrupted mods. Now, corrupted mods are very, very good. So I'm going to show you a corrupted mod real quick. For example, Blind Rage. For example, Blind Rage is a very good one because it gives you a lot of ability strength. It has, does have that minus efficiency, but it's mainly the ability strength that really people like because it has a really high ability strength when you max it out. Now you're probably wondering how do I get these corrupted mods? Now the corrupted mods, you get them by one. You need a key, so you need a Orokin derelict key. So you need Orokin, Orokin. So if you just search Orokin, so yeah, you need an Orokin derelict key. Now where you get these keys from? is you'll get them from one you can get the Oricon derelict keys from here so now the best one to do is a capture mission so it's this one right here and then you also need some other sort of keys what is in my foundry you get them from your clan dojo if you if they have them built in the void room i believe it is now how it works is you want to have all these three equipped and when you have all these three equipped, you go to the Oricon Derelict and you'll find a specific door. I'll show a picture on the screen right now for you. And you want to find that door. When you open that door, if you're doing it solo and have all four keys equipped, you can just do it easily. Boom, done. There you go. You go to it, press the interact button, and then there you go. You open it, you get the orange orb. What is it there? And then you also basically extract. 
Now, you do have a chance of getting the good ones. Now, the good ones are Transit Fortitude, Blind, blind Rage, Overextended, Narrow Minded, and I think that is it. Uh, over, yeah, Overextended, Blind Rage, Narrow Minded, Transit Fortitude, uh, Fleet and Expertise. They're really good ones to have. Heavy Caliber is also a good one. Now, these are some ones that are trash, but it's all about look. They like they take about I say about a minute, five, uh, four minutes, depending on if you're newer to the game or if you've been doing them for a while. It takes about a minute, uh, depending on the builds you have. So now also a, another way is upgrading mods. Okay, now if you have them corrupted mods, you can then upgrade them. So if you have spare, for example, how I had a spare blind rage. If I max this out, okay. Now yes, it does take a lot of credits and endo, but if you don't mind. If you level this up to max, that can sell for about 140. It can sell for about 140, platinum easily, or like unranked will sell for about 20 to 30. Now, another thing, okay, with a platinum is you want to set a price that you don't want to go under, okay? You want to set a price that you don't want to go under because if you set a price you don't want to go under, then you can still buy stuff and then make that platinum back. Now, I know a lot of people that will buy stuff and then go zero platinum, and then they won't be able to make any platinum. Now, it's really important to set a price that you don't want to go under. At the moment, I'm not going under 50 platinum, and I'm going to be trying to make some more platinum after this video because I haven't been playing Warframe a lot. But also, another thing, this is the last tip, is when you buy or sell something, so say for example this Rubico Prime here, I will find a prize on like Warframe Market or something and try and find the average and sell it for that. Now don't use Warframe Market as an exact price because sometimes they are not true. I've had a load of people telling me that on Warframe Market some set it is like 10p per part. I never sell a Prime Warframe that's lower than 100 Platinum except for Mirage and or them old ones. Only the old ones I'll sell for like Mirage and all that I'll sell for under 100 plat but I wouldn't sell every part will basically be 20 plat okay now always set a price for yourself that you don't want to go under and that you're comfortable with now it does take time to uh, find someone that will will do that price because it is how it is in trading you just have, it takes time and you got to be patient now now, now I did say the last one was the last one, but the last thing is when you're buying, negotiate, okay? Even when they are selling, negotiate. When you're selling, negotiate. There are so many people that have ran that I've run into while trading that just when I give them a price, they will just ignore and they will not say anything. They don't negotiate. I really recommend negotiating because then you can one either get a price that you're both comfortable with, and then obviously that makes it quicker. That will make it quicker than to make your sale and then do whatever you want to do next. Maybe buy something else and then sell that for more platinum. So that is one thing that I really do recommend is negotiating because it is very annoying when you're trying to sell something and then they just straight away go no thank you. It is seriously annoying. Like they don't when they don't try and negotiate, it's really annoying. But yeah, that's basically been it guys on, on easy ways to make platinum. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you do drop a like and subscribe. It would be very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, see you guys later.